Okay, well, our third guest is uh, no stranger to BMW World here in Munich. He is the Vice President of BMW, Sajjad Khan. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. Thank Hello. You. Hello. I love this car over here. Cool. <laughs> is this Isn't one of your it? newest ones? That's right. Um, so, Sajad, the internet right. and cars, uh, I, I think you've probably been, um, is it fair to say, maybe one of the uh, last industries to embrace the, indus uh, the internet in terms of manufacturing? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, if you look at the BMW connected drive strategy, uh, which is connected drive means connecting the car with the internet. I mean, we had been out there for the last more than 12, 15 years. So we had been the first one to embrace it from the customer feature perspective. Uh, internet in the car is a very much uh, also related to the driver assistant. And of course, we got to make sure it's, the attention time is so less in the car that it's bringing some added value to the customer. So from our side, I would say that okay, we had been the first over there. And it had made immense uh, uh, gradual increase also for the feature set, which you can see at the moment. And this car is one of the examples where you see it's totally kind of, I would say, internet-based. Okay. That there is a kind of a more than 60% of the features which are being downloaded in the car from the internet. So talk us through, um, um, what model of car is this as well? OK, I mean, so this car is having, for, uh, for example, uh, you can see the range uh, of the car, which is being calculated, of course, on board. And it's also calculated based on lots of things which are coming from the internet, what's been happening on the, on the road or on the highway, down the road from the traffic perspective. Uh, the, there is an intermodal routing. That means if the battery you haven't charged it overnight and you would like to have it something that okay, you drive only 30 or 40 kilometers and you would like to know that okay, what kind of a subway I can take next, all that information is also coming to the car and it's being converted from the car environment to these devices, which is the, either the Apple iPhone or the Android iPhone. So every, all of these things are coming to the car from the internet. So. And, and how important would you say, say the internet is um, for the future of driving and for the future cars that we'll have in the next 10 years? H huge, huge. I mean, the, the a car, car is a node in the network. Uh, and uh, that's why we're going to be bringing uh, almost more than 95% of the cars uh, from 2015 onward with the full-time integrated connectivity. And what does that mean? And that means that your car has some kind of a built-in capability, which where it, I would call it kind of a SIM card, uh, that it is part, you, even if you don't bring your mobile device in the car, your iPhone or your uh, Android phone, it's still the car will be connected to the internet. And that would lead all the way towards autonomous driving. It means we will have a kind of a web of the network, and car will be one of the node in there and moving from point A to point B, while it's still offering you the fun while driving. So would we be talking about um, cars talking to each other, cars talking to traffic lights, um, traffic management, um, city flow management, it's just not only revolutionizing the car, but revolutionizing the street as well? Right. I mean, car talking to the infrastructure, uh, that's happening even today. Uh, the best thing is I feel that like we live in the future already. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I would say uh, this car, like this is Project I uh, thing, this has the latest technology of connecting with the internet. So lots of things as a user or as a driver, you don't even get to know while driving that it's coming from the internet. And this is also the fun part which we have. We bring the things to the customer. They don't even realize whether it's coming from the locally, from the car, or it's coming from somewhere from outside. Uh, so from car to infrastructure is already there. Car to car, going to be coming very soon. It's down the road. How soon? Yeah. Very soon. Uh, I think it would be more going into the direction of autonomous driving also. It would reduce uh, enormous amount of uh, fatalities uh, and the accidents that you have a pre-information and you can do that. Uh, but as of now, and the standardization is also required because car to car needs on the European level or on the North American side also, uh, while looking to other markets like uh, China or South Korea, which is also growing very immensely, that we have a standards over there. So once we have the standards over there, then we can bring the car to car also. Technology is there. It's more the standardization which we are looking for. for this so technology. is it a case of you'd have to wait for a certain number, a certain percentage of cars to actually be enabled with the internet before you can actually 
roll out something like that? Uh, no. I mean, the number of cars we already have, uh, I think the node is already there. Connectivity is already there in the car. It's more that some kind of a standardization that, okay, even if on the different brands the cars are on the street, that they can talk in one language. If I mean, if one car is talking in German and the other one is <laughs> Chinese, that's kind of difficult. Is there going to be an international language for cars to talk with each right. other? Right. So that's what how we call it: standardization. So. And would you say that moving forward, actually, um, even though I, I know I certainly might not have done associated the, the internet with the car maybe five years ago, that actually the car in five years' time can't afford to be without the internet. Uh, you mean it won't be able to... In that the, the car will need the internet um, much more than we actually envisioned. That's true. Uh, I think uh, internet in itself is one of the best innovation humanity could have had in the last 20 years. It changed our e-commerce. It's the way we live our lives at home. And of course, it has changed the whole the car also from this perspective. Uh, we already have it. I mean, the, but you're right. I mean, there would be other OEMs also who would be asked to go more proactively towards internet in the car. And what for you, I guess, is the, the best thing, the best change that you've seen the internet actually bring on into cars? Uh, you know, the car uh, development and the production model is kind of uh, comparatively had been on the level of that, okay, we takes three to five years to develop the car and then kind of an update. And once the car is out there in the market uh, or in the field, then it had always been difficult for us to, to update something in the car. Internet has revolutionized the whole thing. So now we can update the cars. Even if they're in the field, we can put new features in the car. We can update lots of things in the car. Uh, and uh, we can also offer some kind of a store concept, which we also have in the car. That means you can add new features. You can buy new feature while driving. Oh, really? So is that safe? So it's safe. <laughs> It's safe. I mean, this everything is related to the driver distraction. It has already been very well taken care. Uh, and you can buy the new features also on that thing. So if you look at from the car perspective, I think internet has been a very huge assistance to the car to bring it to a totally new level. And just finally, what, what's your greatest, I'm asking this to everyone, but your greatest prediction of the future um, for internet in the car, if you could pick one thing out of all the changes that are happening, what do you think is going to say, you know, be that wow factor, I guess? Uh, I mean, the wow factor would be internet will play a big role in the autonomous driving. So what we're going to see in the next three, uh, five, and ten years is a gradual uh, introduction of the autonomous driving uh, in, a, in the automobile industry. It won't happen overnight uh, that everyone can drive autonomous. Uh, and that gradual increase would only be possible because of the connectivity and because of the internet. So if you ask me, I think I would say autonomous driving will be the huge uh, impact on the whole industry because of internet. Okay, well, I'm so sorry I'm going to have to wrap it up now, but Sajad Thank Khan, you. thank you so much. Thank you.